Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer or subscriber asked me how to draw this in Corel Draw. He found a video that, uh, one, the man did not speak, and two, he, uh, to me, did a lot of extra steps. Uh, this is very, very simple and kind of a fun project. So here I just drew it out right here. So I thought I'd just show you or show him and uh, maybe learn how to draw this. Uh, we're going to start out with a star. So go down to your pentagon and get your star. Put your star on 10 points. Hold down your control button. And then let's put it in the center of the page, just so we won't forget. Let's zoom in here. Now, this is too sharp of a star, so you could take this right here, and it'll take away the sharpness. And this would be personal preference. So we're going to go like right there. Now the star also has sharp corners. And if you go up to Windows, Dockers, go to uh, Scallop and Champer deal and go Filet. And we're going to go 0 .05 and I put Apply. And what that did, it, it gave us some rounded corners. To make a better effect now this is personal preference but I I took and if you notice the star is is different sizes because Corel's mount measuring it from these two long points versus these two points that are cut at an angle so we're going to just change one of these to five inches and hit apply now the contour tool would be very nice to use but you can't use the contour tool in this effect and I'll show you why. So we'll go to contour and we'll contour it um, five times to, whoop, to uh, 0.5. And look what happens. Well, I, I don't know why that keeps doing that. But see what it did, it, it uh, would take, take it back. I must be doing it to the inside. Let's start all over. Let's get back to our five inches. Okay. Now we're going to contour to the outside. That's what I was doing wrong. And we'll go ahead and do it 10. And look what happens. It basically just rounds it off. So you can't use the contour tool in this effect. So let's hit P and make sure it's in the center of the page. And all you're going to have to do is make a duplicate of this. So control D and make a duplicate. And instead of making this five, now make it six. And then control D and it'll keep making it. And you can make your basket as big as you like. Now I cut mine out of quarter inch MDF. Uh, the gentleman in the video cut it out of quarter inch plywood. I've never really had any good luck cutting out quarter inch plywood. Uh, to me, quarter inch MDF, and this would paint. Of course, the ply would look a little better, but you're going to have some burnt edges and charred edges. And then you're going to want to sand this. So if you had a piece of MDF to say, let's just say your MDF is that size, and you want to sand this, I would take your shape and put it up in this corner and then draw you another rectangle. just inside this so you can take it to a, your sander and sand that off and not have such a big area and not waste so much MDF. But anyway, it's a pretty neat project. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's uh, I don't know what you'd use it for. Uh, you could quite possibly start out with a smaller, smaller than five and it might uh, grow to this height more quickly, I guess would be the word. So I would maybe start out with a three. And then all you're going to do when you glue it up, let's get rid of these squares, rectangles. Let's take that particular one, let's hit P and put it in the key uh, center of the page. And now we'll hit this one. And you're just going to rotate it basically when you're gluing at 18 degrees. 
and that's what you get. Now, to look at it more correctly, let's uh, use our Smart Fill tool and fill in this one and hit P on the keyboard and then left click, right click. So now you've got an outline of your item and then rotate it. 18 degrees and that's what it would look like there's your glue points right there that intersection anyway I hope that helped him a little bit and thank you for watching